Hello and welcome to Meadweek. I'm Brian Spann. On this edition, a look at the new USO, a very important message for anyone that filed a state income tax return in South Carolina since 1998. And you can enjoy brunch with Santa. These stories and more. But first, the annual Army-Navy game is Saturday, December 8th. And each year in anticipation, Fort Meade hosts its own battle for service bragging rights. The annual game and tailgate party was once again sponsored by the West County Chamber of Commerce. A serving line of hamburgers, hot dogs, chili, hot chocolate and more provided the backdrop for a game that has in recent years been dominated by Army. Would this year be any different? This is going to be awesome for the Navy um, and I kind of have a little revenge game against the season for most of these guys are on the team that won that, won the, uh, the league so I feel pretty good about this one. After last year's 26 to nothing blowout, the Navy came out seemingly determined not to let that happen again. And despite Navy turning the ball over on the opening drive, you got the sense it wasn't going to be easy for Army this year. A tense first half ended with Army up by a 6 nothing score. Navy tied the game early in the second half before Army went on a game-winning drive to make it 12-6. That's the way it would remain, a close hard-fought game until the last play when Army scored again to make the final 18-6. This was the 13th annual Fort Meade Army-Navy game, and for 2012, the bragging rights stay on the soldier's side of the field. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about right there. We showed them this was our field, huh? and that's what we got to do every time. Huh? Who the champs over here? Huh? Who, the Who the champs? Who the champs? Who the champs? Who else is this? Hey, let me get Army on the Let's get it, baby. All day. Hey, that's what I'm talking about, though. Way to stay as a team. Way to stay together. We're a family. We're not just a team. We're a family. Uh, That's what we do all day, every day. Uh, Let me get Army on three. One, two, three. Army! Yeah. Hey, yeah. Got yeah. And everything. In other news, an alert for Defense Department personnel. South Carolina officials say a recent cyber intrusion could have affected anyone that filed a South Carolina state tax return since 1998. Taxpayers' personal information may have been compromised, and South Carolina officials are urging taxpayers to acquire identity theft protection immediately. Register by logging on to protectmyid.com and use the activation code SCDOR123 or call the Experian Call Center at the number on your screen, 1-866-578-5422. The service is free, but the deadline to register for a year of free protection is January 31st. In a Pentagon Channel interview, South Carolina Governor Nikki Haley was asked how this could have happened and who may be responsible. Well, without going into too much information, because it still is an ongoing investigation, what we do know is that there was an international hacker that came in um, to our system as um, he got an employee to click on something that allowed him to get his password. And from there, he was able to take that password and gather some information. And so we are trying to do everything we can to protect everybody that could have been compromised and that is why we're pushing very hard for everybody to contact Experian and get the uh, security system that we are providing for them. Once again to get that year of free protection go to the Protect My ID website or call Experian at the number listed on the screen. Meanwhile the Uniform Services Organization better known as the USO has long operated a USO center right here at Fort Meade. This week the center opened a new facility. The USO's Pam Horton gives us a tour and says that the move greatly improves the USO's visibility here on post. It's been a long time coming. We've been working on this for about two years um, to find a location that was central to the installation, um, close to the barracks so that people were able to find us. We've been doing a lot of good things at Fort Meade and the one thing we always heard was we can't find you or we didn't know you were here. So this is going to allow us to kind of get past that. People are going to be able to find us. They're going to be able to come and just kind of hang out. It's a comfortable place and we're just very excited. Um, the population that's all around us, um, single service members, um, students from the Dinfo School are right here and uh, we expect to be busy. Um, we had sponsors who came through and donated furniture, the TVs, the gaming station, so everything in this center is brand new. So um, we're excited to be able to, to bring that aspect of it. You know, our service members deserve this. So this is our way of just giving back. Um, we were able to expand our food pantry, which is a very popular program over here. So it has its own dedicated room now. Um, so we're happy to be able to, um, to expand that program. Um, it's something that's been very popular and it's needed. Finally, a quick reminder from DFMWR, Brunch with Santa is coming up Saturday, December 15th. There are two seatings at 10.30 a.m. and 1 p.m. For details and to register, call Child, Youth, and School Services at 301-677-1437. And that's Mead Week for this week. I'm Brian Spann. For everyone at Mead TV and the Fort Mead Public Affairs Office, have a great weekend and a great Mead Week.